Hey guys, it's Stacy here. Welcome to my channel, Life's a Project. So today I want to give you an update on how gorgeous these hookahs look. Now if you remember back in a past video, I transplanted them from their hanging baskets that I had them growing in last year and they were actually in there over the winter and so I just pruned them back really hard early spring down to that new growth and some of you may have thought I killed the poor things because they look so pitiful and I transplanted them into this large self-watering container so there's four plants in here and you can see all of that beautiful growth no more soil showing they look fantastic now the reason that I'm showing you at this stage of growth because you can see they're putting up their flower stalks or bloom stalks and so I wanted to share with you at this point what I like to do so what I like to do, and some of you may disagree, I just get in here with a set of pruners close to the base of the plant, making sure not to cut into the plant, and I just cut off the bloom stalks. To me, the flowers are just small, they just don't do a lot for me, and I just remove them. So there's no right or wrong way, you can actually leave them on there, let them bloom, cut them off after they are finished blooming, or go ahead and cut them off ahead of time like I'm doing here. It does not hurt the plant at all. To me, when the flower stalks just start coming up everywhere, I think the plant looks unkept and wild, so I prefer them gone. Now, I really love the look of the plant uh, for the look and color of the leaves, um, not really so much for the flowers, so let me know down in the comment section below what you prefer. So here's how they look with all the flowers gone. I just think they look so much better, just nice and tidy. And all of these plants will continue to grow, put on more growth, more leaves, more foliage. And I just think they look so fluffy and beautiful. So if you remember back, I transplanted four hookahs into this container, two of them called Dolce Wildberry, and they have this beautiful purple color, and the underside of hookahs are just as gorgeous as the top part of the leaves. You can see this one is called Mahogany Monster, that beautiful red color, and then over here, Black Pearl, a really dark foliage color, and the underside, gorgeous, this kind of purpley pink berry color. So hookahs overall are just just really easy care you pretty much just water them and cut off their bloom stalks if you want and they are a zone four through nine so they are a perennial and I live here in Kentucky I'm a zone six and they did just fine all winter long living in hanging baskets now, if you were wondering, these are all Proven Winners plants that I purchased from my local garden center last year, and they are just doing fantastic, and they really love this self-watering container. Now these self-watering containers, I just love them. I've purchased three total. These are by Crescent Garden, and pretty much you just fill up the water reservoir, and at this time of year, I can pretty much fill them up just one time a month. When it starts to get really warm, then it's more like once a week um, in the hot summer months when it's like 90 degrees out. Uh, but overall, these just help me not to have to water like every day or several times a week. They're just really nice. And I'll leave a link down in the video description below if you'd like to check them out. So guys, that is it for this video. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. I hope you will subscribe to my channel if you're not already. I thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.